Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be bringing to you a backdrop haul. So basically I've been looking around at different fabric stores and Walmart for different backdrops for my YouTube channel because I noticed like backdrops can really be expensive or you can just stick to a plain background which I didn't like especially since I'm gonna be doing like makeup tutorials and all types of different stuff. Can you stop watching me and get out of here? Shut the door. Sorry, you guys, that was my door, and I feel really awkward when people are just staring at me when I'm recording. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, um, yeah, so I've been doing my research on like uh, starting a YouTube channel, and it can get expensive. So I've already invested in this expensive camera, so I'm like, okay, now I want different backgrounds backdrops and stuff like that but I was like realistically when I went around to different stores like Joann's their fabric can get expensive not in every state but I live in California so what some people may be paying somewhere is gonna be totally different from what the price they're asking me for in the state of California so I've um did my research on YouTube and I noticed a lot of YouTubers they don't really talk about their setup like they it's like this secret Thing to them like in the YouTube world for some reason for them to like help others out on starting a YouTube channel and the videos that I did watch over backdrops that affordable backdrops to them those things were not affordable so today I'm gonna be bringing you uh, affordable backdrop hauls I'm gonna be showing you all the different backdrops I picked up and I'll tell you the prices for them so if you're interested in knowing then just please keep on watching this video and I will see you in my next one So this first backdrop that I got is like a gold glittery shimmer and it's translucent but I put it on my cream colored wall and it matched up perfectly. I got this one at Walmart for $3.99 a yard and I got two yards so it totaled out to be $8.00. I didn't really edit this video too much throughout the video you're gonna see me playing around with my lighting zooming it in and out because I just want you to be able to see like the fabric from different angles and with different lighting so if you see me adding a light or removing a light it's just to test it out in different settings <laughs> Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. So this next glittery backdrop I got from Walmart for, it's two different pieces. It might look like one, but it is not. I got the black fabric for $1.50 a yard, which totaled out to be $3 because I got two yards also. And the glittery color, which is translucent on top of it, I got it for $1 a yard, which was very cheap. So that totaled out to be $2.
with this look was I took the black fabric and put it on the back and then put the glittery fabric on top of it because if I didn't it would have shown my wall through the glittery fabric. So this next color would be a solid white. It's like a little bit of off-white. I picked this up at Joann's for $3.99 a yard, but it was on sale for half price. So that brought it to $2 a yard. And I got three yards of this, which ended up being $6. But I ended up later cutting it because you really do not need three yards of fabric for a backdrop. This next one is a very funky look. My girl Sierra helped me pick it out because I was not feeling it at first, but I ended up liking it. I got it from Joann's also, and it was originally $8 a yard, but it was on sale also for half price. Actually, it was more than half price off. I ended up spending like two, three dollars total for each yard, and I also got two yards of that. <laughs> So this next one is a sil a silver color that I picked up from Walmart. Honestly, I was just not feeling it. I'm I'm not feeling the material. I most likely won't use it. I'm making nose faces because my husband was talking to me. He would not let me record in peace. But anyways, yeah, that one was also $3.99 a yard, which totaled out to be $8, which I regret paying for. But um i don't take stuff back to the store i just hoard it but i was not feeling this one unfortunately So this last one is a hot pink one that i also picked up from joanne i got it at the same time as i got the the solid white ones so they were the same price because they were the same material and that is basically it By the way, I did not use any backdrop stands to hold up the fabric. I just uh, thumbtacked the backdrops to my wall and that's just how it works for me because I have plenty of wall space to do that to where I don't need a backdrop stand, but some of you may 
use a backdrop stain it'll work perfectly fine you might need a couple more yards but if you have any other questions then just ask me thanks for watching <laughs>